What did you learn this week, Greg? Okay, so mine is about the Galapagos Islands. Oh, cool. Have you gone there? No, but I went, you to, went Ecuador, to Ecuador and then I didn't, didn't go there. And I was like, what? And I remember the time being like, I'll be back. It's like, no, I won't. <laughs> like, well, maybe I will, but I'm just that's sad true. If that it, I did That's my advice. If you're somewhere, you yeah. just go to what, realize that you probably won't come back again in your life unless you're Because lucky. I was young enough that I was like, I'll definitely come back mm-hmm. before I'm 30. Now I'm 30, not been back. I would love to go back to the Galapagos right. Islands. But obviously that is where Darlin, sh- Dar- Dar- my Darlin Darwin <laughs> showed up and was like, huh. Maybe evolution is a theory that I need to, you know, publish. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Like it's where you first realize, like in this isolated environment, there's these right. different species who would have adapted differently. Very famous for that reason. And so it's pretty famous because it's like a, an insane amount of diversity there, isn't it? Is that? Yeah, there's right? a lot of diversity, but also very specific species that don't exist anywhere else because okay. they've evolved in this specific climate. Okay. So it's there's a lot of tourism there because of that reason. Mm-hmm. And so these species are obviously unique and they're sensitive and they were finding oh, that they are sensitive. They have sensitive hearing, which is part of what we're talking about. Some of them, especially land iguanas, okay. but they were putting off fireworks and the loud bangs were causing like cardiac arrests hmm. and stress in the animals. Were they doing this as a test or it was just when fireworks were when going When fireworks, off? like New Year's, like cause uh, there's tourism there, they would have celebrations. Yeah. And so because of that, scientists were realizing it was having like a negative impact on the animals. So now the Galapagos Islands is officially silent from fireworks. There's oh, no more fireworks allowed, nice. no more loud noises allowed, which is like a nice story. It's like a conservation effort yeah. and it makes well, me just feel good. It makes sense that like a creature that has no idea what a human is would hear a giant boom. Because even like dogs and cats freak out with fireworks. It probably is just insane stress because they're like literally an explosion, like some demon is coming after yeah, me. Yeah, it's not that it's nothing as to do well with the as, light. Too. Yeah, they said it's that they most can, of the sound. They said that they can have, you can have fireworks without the sound. Like I think that you can actually uh, like, is that possible? I think the uh, sound uh, is part of the like experience of fireworks that you could yeah, take that out. I did not know that. I know. Well, they mentioned that, but I didn't look into it. But I'm like, are there silent fireworks? Because that would also be kind of cool to see. Yeah, like, I feel like your brain. Yeah, and your brain would be like sync with them. This reminds me also like when we went to the Arctic with Greenpeace. Remember that it was about like um, seismic blasting and the impact it has on whales. Yeah. and there'd be some insane like the blasting itself not only stresses the whales out but actually impacts their and the sound hearing. travels a lot further and it's stronger yeah. in water. So it's interesting to to take a note about yeah what are the things that we're doing that we're not always realizing the anthropocene us humans we're really having a huge impact i know but it's important that we think about it that was positive conservation Mm 